Hello and welcome to this review, HNS 111A Human Anatomy 1. Okay, so what is the objective of this course, guys? The course aims at providing the nurse, yeah, we agree that you are being prepared to be nurses, yeah, with an understanding of the human anatomy uh, structure so that the nurse is able to provide effective nursing care and understand other subjects like medical physiology. We have five learning outcomes here. So by the end of this course, we expect you to be able to describe the structure and organization of a human cell, to be able to explain the principles of human genetics in relation to, um, in relation to the body structure, should be able to describe chromosomes and chromosomal inheritance. Number four, you're supposed to be able to describe embryological development of cells, tissues, and organ systems. And lastly, you should be able to define anatomical terminologies. So you have five, uh, five learning outcomes. So if you look at the course content, it's just covering what we are exactly supposed to cover okay so if you look at it keenly you can see that i've tried to divide the objective so the first objective was to describe the structure and organization of cells so in this case we expect you to be able to define a cell be able to describe the structure of a, a cell be able to state the functions of the cell to describe the movement within the cell and lastly to describe the cell division on objective number two, about explaining the principles of human uh, genetics in relation to human body stru structure, we expect you to be able to uh, discuss cell specialization, okay? Uh, describe the bo body tissues, the four body tissues, be able to describe the process of cell-to-cell -cell communication, be able to discuss the human genetics and discuss induction process of a human cell. That is on objective number number two. What about objective number three, guys? On objective number three, we expect you to be able to define what chromosomes are, discuss mitosis and meiosis, explain the process of chromosomal inheritance, and lastly, discuss the ab abnormal chromosomal inheritance. On objective number four, we, ex we expect you to define terms in embryology. Okay? After this, doing that, we'll be able to describe the human fertilization and implantation. And then finally, describe the human, the developing human. Our last objective we are supposed to define anatomical terms. Remember, at this one, we are actually now moving uh, uh, into anatomy deeper. And here we'll be able to define anatomy, be able to def de explain the evolution of anatomy and describe the subdivision on anatomy. And lastly, describe the terminologies used in body, in body structures. So guys, how are we going to learn? We have some instructional material that you're going to use. We'll make use of our skills lab, our MOG, our anatomy and physiology lab equipments. We have the human skeleton, the cadavers in the MOG, and we're going, also going to use the audio visuals, the pictures, posters, overhead projectors, uh, LCDs, etc. Furthermore, I'm going to record YouTube channels covering all the topics that we have mentioned, where you, as a student, you are expected to go through them at your own pace so that you are able to understand at your own pace. And learning can take place even when we, as teachers, we are not in class. So in short, Learning in this course is going to involve both synchronous and asynchronous. So guys, I am really excited to host you in this course. I hope you are prepared to learn more on human anatomy.
So welcome and let's meet in class. Thank you so much and have a great time.